Hey guys, welcome back to another texture pack video. The first pack of this video is going to be Nightshade 16x made by Hoodie. Now some things that I like in this pack is the armor or just like the diamond stuff in general and a bunch of other things like the sky, the blocks and basically just everything about it. There isn't anything in particular that I really enjoy, you know, it's just like a nice pack to use overall. And I'm not going to talk too much on that because I don't want to say something that I don't actually think. And whoa, that hit was crazy. But anyway, we're going to be playing on an alternate account because I haven't played Bed Wars in a little while. And my main account has like a pretty decent uh, FKDR or whatever it's called, final kill death ratio. And I'm pretty sure that gets you into harder lobbies. I'm not too sure how the ranking system works, matchmaking or whatever you want to call it. But I just seem to queue people that are like decently good at Bed Wars on my main account. And I just suck at it, to be honest. So let's quickly do this and see if we can kill this person who has a wooden sword and there we go i think they're gonna spawn here as well so we're gonna have to try kill them again and are we gonna die here probably yep we're gonna die what are they bee hopping hypixel pvp sometimes is just the most complicated weird thing ever like i seriously want to hate on it so much but i honestly like don't care because i'm just so used to it now if you guys would like to win some free lunar cosmetics i'd highly recommend checking out my twitter that is on the screen right now i do giveaways every now and then on there like maybe once a week or every two weeks like i always make sure to pick someone who has followed all the steps and all that kind of stuff and what is going on and there we go okay and they bought diamond armor a diamond sword as well i think i haven't bought a diamond sword in bed wars in forever like that's just like the dumbest thing ever isn't it i remember when i first started playing i thought it was like op because it just kills people really quickly but like a sharpness iron sword's good enough when someone's half leather but yeah if i was to say something good about this pack it's definitely like the shading the swords the diamond stuff and you know all the basic stuff for pvp here we go Let's go. Okay, so the second pack of the video is going to be Stardust 256X made by Lushi. Now, I've had a lot of people tell me to do more high resolution packs, so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. We're going to be doing a mix of like low resolution and some high resolution packs. Now, Lushi was actually making a lot of tweets when she was making this pack, and I actually really enjoyed seeing those because some of the textures in this are just really clean. Now, I really like high resolution tools, and I think they've done a really good job with this one, like the pickaxe, obviously. I should also say that i'm using the marine recolor and i also really enjoy the sunset recolor so if you guys want some suggestions for which color to download i'd highly recommend downloading those two he's eating a gapple instead of destroying my beds like are these people just cheating what is go why do i suck so bad and then this person's here like what are you doing so now that I'm in the second game, I'm just going to be using the Sunset Recolor. So as you can see, the bed is a lot different and also the GUI like the hearts and the saturation bar. This pack is so detailed, by the way. Like, look at this ender chest, even the shears. And did this guy really buy an iron sword? Is that an iron sword? I think so. I would take your emeralds. Okay, you like refuse to fall off the map, so I just got them anyway. If someone falls off the map, I still get them. What am I saying? I was thinking that if they drop down, I'm not going to get the emeralds. But what is this guy doing? Absolute psycho. Let's see if we can kill them. They're not even like paying attention. I feel so bad. Like, why am I playing at this level? It's just easier to record because I don't want to be playing 10 or 20 games of Bedwars for five packs. Like, if I was doing a little less, like three, I probably could get three wins, but... Jeez, I suck at this game. But yeah, the gapples in this pack are really nice as well. Like, there is just no faults in this pack, in my opinion. Like, I think everything just looks really clean. And I don't see how it can be improved, really. <laughs> what is he doing up there? Right, let's see. Oh, these particles are so nice, by the way. Okay, so the third pack of the video, and definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite from this video, is going to be the Purple Eden 16X pack made by Sitting Frog. Now, this is the light mode version, which I'm guessing is different to the dark mode version because the inventory is white instead of, say, black. And yeah, I don't know what it is about these type of swords, but I just really like them. Like, after playing UHC for a long time and just having so many overlays on, like, it just kind of makes these swords more attractive, I guess, because when you have 
a sword like this in UHC, it tends to be like an overpowered sword, like say a dragon sword or something, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. And it's just a cool design because like black really goes with anything. And I think purple and black is like the perfect mix of colors. Like if anyone's watched my channel for a long time, you'll know that like that mix of colors is basically the colors of my channel. Not really anymore because I tend to try and make everything a lot more brighter now, like with my thumbnails and channel art and whatever. Now, because I used a 16x pack to begin with, and a 16x pack now after the 256x one, <laughs> I'm actually gonna do a high resolution pack next, I think. Uh, so, stick around for that if you're someone that enjoys those type of packs. And I'm kind of just like wandering around the map, like, so casually just killing everyone, which is not exactly too entertaining, but you know, it feels good. I don't have to try too much. Emergency exit? Where are you going, buddy? I can't hit him there. What was that all about? I feel so bad for this person's aim. Like, what are you aiming at, bro? And once they come out, I'm gonna jump onto their beds and are they gonna see me? I don't know. I don't have any shears for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's break their beds quickly. And then let's do this. And that should be good enough, I think. Oh no, this is gonna be close. I think they're gonna see my footsteps on my blocks, but they're not gonna hit me. That's so worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it, but it is at the same time. Because he's like, what is going on? Just swinging his sword at nothing. Hero Brian YouTube, subscribe to this guy. Two E's on the Hero Brian. Let's go. Okay, so the fourth pack of the video is going to be 128x Contrast made by... I never know how to pronounce this guy's name. Now, this pack is basically a white and black pack. So some of the stuff in this is just basically white with a black outline, like the diamond stuff. And you'll see like the custom sky below. It's basically just like grey. So a lot of the stuff in this is just, you know, contrast, like white and black. And how... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Side rushing on this map? That's something that I would do when I started playing. This person is secretly a genius. Like, the way they move is actually not too bad. Like, this person seems like they're quite decent, but their aim is not the best. Let's buy this. And I think I'm going to buy a Gapo because I can just kill them and then get all their gold from their generator. This pack is kind of like a mashup, so don't come at me in the comments saying, like, this person stole the pack or whatever because I'm sure they've given credit and, you know, it's just like a mashup. Right, let's follow this person. If I didn't hit that slab right there, I definitely would have been able to hit them. This person is pretty good at PvP. And they've got that really nice Luna Cloak. And it's only a 1v1. Let's go. So, yellow all the way over there. Alright, we should be able to get to them from there. So, the armor is probably from Dark Sea. Like, I'm pretty sure it is. And then the sword, I honestly do not know. I'm actually going to have to show you guys the diamond sword after this because it is different. So, yeah, most of this pack is 16x, but you got, like, the high-resolution PvP items, like the armor and stuff. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> what just happened? Is that jump boost? Yeah. So, yeah, here is the diamond sword that I was talking about. I'm pretty sure it's from Latency's blue 128x pack. And yeah, here's what the armor looks like. So the diamond is probably from Scope 32X. And then this armor is from Darksea, I believe. And then the fishing rod is from Kyanite by Dulls, I believe. I'm pretty sure this bow comes from a Dulls pack, but I can never think of which one. Like, it's such an old bow. It's been used in so many packs. It's ridiculous. All right, guys. So this game is going to be pretty quick because this is the final pack of the video. But the last pack of the video is going to be Adromeda made by Unretired Marp. Now, something seriously scary happened with this pack. The other day, I was actually going to use it in a video, uh, a Bedwars video, and I joined a game, right? And someone joined the game called Adromeda. Like, I've got a screenshot of it on the screen right now. And if you don't know what Adromeda is, I think it's like a galaxy or something, if I'm saying that right. Like, Adromeda. So, you know, you can imagine, like, the chances of that happening being really low. And you were spawned in limbo. Really? What was going on? Disconnected. This is why I have multiple proxies, by the way because sometimes one of them just crashes and the others stay up. Like, for example, EU always crashes a lot, but it seems like Hypixel has just straight up died. Like, what is going on? And I think it's back up. Is it going to put me back in the Bed Wars game? I was pink and I'm dead, yeah. Okay, but I think I'm just going to show the pack in the single player world because I don't really feel like playing another Bed Wars game. Like, we've already played four. It's too much Bed Wars for a video, I think. Um, but yeah, here's all the items that you need to see. Here's all the diamond stuff. I really like how they've done, like, the black bottoms and then, like, the black bit here as well, like, like at the bottom of the chest plate. These ores as well are really smooth. Like, this diamond looks super smooth. Uh, there's the bow and the fishing rod. And then if you want to know what the fire charge looks like, then there it is. 
And then if you're wondering what the wool looks like, here it is. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you later.